Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel reading today, Mary received the good news coming from the angel Gabriel. May we also receive the good news who is Jesus Christ himself, the good news that God is always with us. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, eternal majesty, whose ineffable word the Immaculate Virgin received through the message of an angel and so became the dwelling place of divinity filled with the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant, we pray, that by her example we may, in humility, hold fast to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary men? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. The Lord, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. The Lord said the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Please stand. David, opening the gates of God's eternal kingdom, come and free the prisoners of darkness. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end." But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? 
And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, whenever the Gospel of the Annunciation is read in the celebration of the Mass this season, the Mass is traditionally called Misa Aurea, the Golden Mass, because it is at this point of the Annunciation when Jesus was conceived in the womb of the Blessed Virgin. A golden time, a golden point when the Son of God entered history, entered time, and became man in the womb of the Blessed Virgin. Traditionally, this Mass is called the Golden Mass when we recognize and remember the good news, the great news received by Mary that she will be the mother of the Savior and Jesus will be conceived in her womb at that very moment when the angel Gabriel appeared to her and when she said yes to God. That is the golden moment, the golden time. But my dear brothers and sisters, for many of us, especially for those who suffer at the moment, the message of the angel still rings a good news to them. not even because Jesus was conceived in the womb, but even in the simple words of the angel to Mary, the words, the Lord is with you. Even those simple words can ring a good news especially to those who are suffering right now. For those who are listening to this Mass, who may be undergoing intensive treatment in the hospital, those who are undergoing chemotherapy at this moment, those who are undergoing dialysis, those who are undergoing intensive treatment in the hospital, when you hear the words of the angel, the Lord is with you, it is truly a good news. It is truly a golden news when you hear that the Lord is with you. That is why the name given in our first reading to the Son who will be born from the Virgin is Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. The good news 
of Jesus is that He is present with us. He is with us. One theologian, one Jesuit theologian said that when the Emmanuel came, he did not just eradicate all suffering. Yes, there are still suffering. But Jesus came to fill it with his presence. That is the gift of the Emmanuel. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, let us remember the good news given by the angel to Mary. Not only of the great news of Jesus being born from her womb, but the simple good news of the simple words, the Lord is with you. Let these words ring to many of us who are suffering right now. The Lord is with you. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray that we may be able to follow the example of Mary, who is humble, full of faith, and always ready to do the Lord's will. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That we, as God's people, advance in our faith journey with the guidance and teachings of our pastors, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our government officials exhaust their means to promote peace and seek the well-being of their constituents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That consecrated men and women be true witnesses of God's kingdom by their faithfulness to their vows. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That young people be firm in their faith, generous in their love, and steadfast in their hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead who responded to God's invitation share in the joy of the master table. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, your eternal word was made man when the Virgin Mary placed her life at the service of your plan. May we follow her example in preparing for the coming of Jesus Christ your Son and our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray, upon the one sacrifice of your Son, that by participating in this mystery, we may possess at last the gifts we have awaited and for which our faith bids us hope. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold Him, the Virgin Mother longed for Him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of His coming and proclaimed His presence when He came. It is by His gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of His nativity, so that He may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in His praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of Your glory as without end. We acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant divine protection, O Lord, to those you renew with this heavenly gift, that to those who delight in your mysteries, you may give the joy of true peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our schedule for the celebration of Christmas at the Manila Cathedral this Saturday, December 24, our Christmas Eve Mass will be celebrated at 8 p.m. here at the Manila Cathedral and will be presided by our beloved Archbishop, Jose Cardinal Advincula. On Christmas Day, Sunday, December 25, our Masses here at the Manila Cathedral will be at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. We invite everyone to join us in this great feast of the celebration of the birth of our Savior here at the Manila Cathedral. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.